We seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? I've no time for you now. Leave me be. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer such as I. Aho! A ballista! We're not to talk during missions, sir. Can't say I've any tidings to share. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain... The world's gone topsy-turvy, and I reckon it isn't an improvement. Can't help miss ye when you're not around. Greetings. I expect you must be weary from its healing waters draw upon the volcanoes now. Do come again. isn't all it's chalked up to be. Here to ask all of me, are you? Ah, I remember you. What brings you to the encampment? It is a miracle you're still alive. Though I dare say that's true of all of us. Oh? You believe we ought to evacuate? Well, you travelled far indeed to deliver these tidings. Farther, I dare say, than anyone would go for the sake of an idle jest. Hmm. If we must leave, we shall have to begin preparations at once. But I think we're a bit short on hands to attend to all that must be done. In fact, there's a rather delicate matter that I could use some help with. A blacksmith and his wife dwell on the encampment outskirts. Might you escort them here, so that they can join the, the smith? Gustava is a man of good sense, but as for his wife, well, suffice to say, Cleuna has always been a contentious sort. She'd have naught to do with us, given the choice, and isn't likely to take kindly to the arrival of any of my knights on her. I can only hope that she will be more willing to listen to you, a third party, as to her. And while you're taking care of that, I will see to it that the incumbent is made ready to depart with all due haste. to share myself. The pawns in this party are women all. And yet no two of us are the same.
That dragon thing is far more powerful than any monster. We must face our foe unflinching. However fearsome it may be. by some miracle. Now this region shall be safe. At least for the time being. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say.
carts aren't operating anymore, are they? It is perfectly understandable, albeit rather inconvenient. Will the day ever come when we might employ one again? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Well now, whatever brings you here? These are perilous times to be wandering about. You'd have us evacuate with the encampment? I am touched by your kindness, friend, but we'll manage on our own. I couldn't bear to be pressed in among those crowds. Now, now, I'll hear none of that. I'll see you to safety, my dear, come hell or high water. Besides, I should hope this good soul has earned your trust by now. Helped me out of a tight spot on more than one occasion, if you'll recall. After all that goodwill and the long trek out here to warn us, we'd seem mighty ungrateful, turning our back on another helping hand extended only in kindness. Oh, very well, my love, if you insist. 
It seems we'll be accepting your offer after all, friend. Would you be so kind as to escort us to our destination? Let us see our charges to the encampment. But be mindful. The path seems much changed since last we met it. That was certainly worthwhile. No need to worry about me. As a matter of fact, have you always pursued your current vocation over the course of your journey with the Arisen? Well, there was a time I served our master as a mage. I can scarce believe how far I've come since then. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Shall we set it rolling? Sunset draws near. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use.
place as any. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. I've no time for you now. Leave me be. Lo, a ballista. Tis not how we use this. I trust aught's well, sir. I trust aught's well, sir. I do the same thing every single day I do. we are how long before the evacuation begins i wonder would you find serenesto and tell him we've arrived let him know that we'll wait here till the time comes sir i implore you to reconsider surely you can see that the situation is dire how many times must i say it I'll not be ordered about. Not by ye, not by anyone. Now bugger off and leave me alone. Ah, good. You're back. I'm afraid there's another matter for which I must beg your assistance. It concerns the fellow I was just speaking with. Sir Lamond, his name is. The man's something of a regular at our hot springs. I sought him out to tell him of the evacuation, but he has flatly refused to join us. I must confess. I'm at a loss as to how I might convince him. Could I prevail upon you to try your hand? At this point, if he thinks anything I say will fall on deaf ears. Sir Lam Might I prevail upon you to speak with Sir Lamond? See you look at my wares. Fancy meeting ye here, cuz. Did you want something? <laughs> not this again. I'm here to live my life as I see fit. I'll not be ordered about by anyone. Not even ye. Of course you'd make a decent request like that. Aye, fine, I'll do it. Seeing as you're the one asking. Can't say I'll be glad to leave this place behind. But you've my word, I'll get him to safety. He seems to have acquiesced. Sir Ernesto will be thrilled to hear it, I'm sure. I quite agree.
least wait for the new equipment to come in. I cannot thank you enough for all you've done. We shall fare much better on the road with Sir Lamont's arm to defend us. It will be slow going, mind. We have wounded whom we must accommodate. Yet, come what may, I swear to see them all to safe harbor. Stick my head where it will get cut off. A ballista is a ranged weapon. This could grant us an edge in battle if we use it well. Why don't you stay? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. <laughs> there, Master! Phantasms! Leave it to me. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it?
moves. For what impelled it, I cannot say. Go forth, Talos. May you strike down any dragon in your path. From it. Let us see what it aims to achieve. You see a risen? We have naught to fear from any overgrown lizard. What did you do? Talos Wolf. I. I don't understand. What happened? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. incredible might it boggles the mind did the pawn within impel the statue to action Pray, allow me to open your chest.
Thank you. This place does not have long left, I fear. We ought to get to safety, though I have to wonder if anywhere is safe now. I'd gladly accompany you, believe me. But the others here? Well, suffice to say, they won't be able to join us. Follow me. You'll see what I mean. What manner of creation is Talos, I wonder? And what compelled it to vanquish our foe? Expected to pick that up if I must. It is a jail of sorts, this place. Compound where we set captured pawns to work. They were supposed to be digging up old ruins or some such. I confess, I don't know all of the ins and outs of the operation. Underlings like myself were given orders and little else, you see. Well, here you have it. They've been like this for a month straight now. They refuse to leave. You might as well try talking to a wall. You have more luck. I know they don't die like we do, but it seems cruel to abandon them here all the same. I never wanted to be here, you know, taking part in all of this. The enslavement of pawns doesn't sit well with me. I suppose that's why I can't bring myself to leave them behind. Either that or the current state of the world helps to put things in perspective. At any rate, I've tried everything I can think of to get them out, but naught's done any good. I'm at rather a loss. The command came a month ago or more. We are to remain here, and so we remain. I implore you, Arisen. Take me with you. So they're staying here because they were ordered to remain. And they told you that, did they? Strange. I couldn't get a word out of them. I wonder why they saw fit to speak with you. But never mind that. More importantly, you've given me an inkling of the problem at hand. It was the Overseer's doing, methinks. When the world changed, that craven up and ran for his life. But on his way out, he used that artifact they call the God's Way to command the pawns to protect him. I expect that order of his is what the pawns were referring to, Listen, friend, I have a thought. What say you have a look around and see what you can turn up? If the Overseer's command is indeed still in effect, it could be that he is lurking somewhere not far from here. Use that key to have a look around. It should open any doors you come across. Best keep your eyes peeled for the Overseer as well. Circumstances forbid me from obeying. I pray you understand. I miscalc... Pray, spirit me from this danger. I am sorry. A door of sturdy make. It will be impossible without the key. We shall have to find the key then. By the by, what strikes me as strange about your friend there? How to put this? <laughs> I jest, of course. After all, if your companion were a pawn, that would make you the arisen, yes? It would be only too convenient if it were true, but when are things ever so simple?
is frightfully warm here. The result of volcanic activity, I expect. Remain focused. A clouded mind shall serve you poorly in an ambush. at your leisure, sir. Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. We've a journey to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. So the pawns were being held here by the power of this god sway. Now they would be free to make good their escape. Splendid. So, there was naught left of the Overseer but bones, eh? I'll wager he thought to take the pawns with him to the grave. He always was a spiteful old goat. At any rate, I'm well grateful for your aid, friend. Now that the pawns are on their feet, methinks I can get them to safety. I only hope they'll heed my words as they have yours. But I'm not worried. I'll find a way to reach them in time, no doubt. Word, isn't this the God's way? With this, I'll be able to guide the pawns to the refuge without delay. Now there's no chance of any of them being left behind. Seems I've no end of things to thank you for, my friend. I appreciate all you've done here. I'll get the pawns to safety, don't you worry. With this, their evacuation is all but assured. God's ways are loathsome artifacts, but I suppose they have their uses. That was certainly worthwhile.
We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? You saw the sky fall, I trust. I doubt you could have missed it. And wherever the sky falls, a dragon soon appears to lay waste to the land. Or so I had assumed, after what befell Melv. Yet aught here appears to be different. Has our ruin been forestalled, or merely postponed? I must examine that creature. It may well be the key to unraveling the origins of this cataclysm. The path through this rock has been sealed to us. There's not for it but to search for an ultimate... Many paths are close to us now. On account of the dragon's descent, no doubt. But we must find a way to reach it. Confound this obstruction. But I suppose I ought to have expected this. Answers were ne'er so easily won. Monsters! Summoned by that beast, no doubt. My magics are at your disposal! Those we must proceed. This cannot continue. Principles unproven are as dust on the wind. Sacrifice.
seems this is the only way forward. Up we go. Follow me. Two more replace it. We ought to ignore the rabble and focus on our true objective. without sacrifice. Alas, a theory unproven is of little practical use. Beast fell powers are twice as terrible in the flesh.
us to proceed. This cannot continue. You know the future of the dragon. It is the dragon at the heart of all this destruction. we might have learned. <sighs> Never mind. You've your charge, it is true, and the fiends appear to be falling back. But I trust you won't object if I take a sample of its remains. After all, your role is to save this world, and mine is to pursue its secrets. Though this land has seemingly been spared its destruction, there is no guarantee of safety. The oceans yet cloud the skies, and monsters swarm in ever greater numbers. As twill be difficult to continue my research under such conditions, I have decided to evacuate. I only hope that this sanctuary of yours will prove more conducive to my work. Does my lifelong work hold no meaning any longer? Never did I imagine such a dragon could exist. Tis a glad thing we felled it, whatever it was. <laughs> 